हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल माय नेम इज रुंजय पटेल गाइज इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट बिफोर बिजनेस रूल राइट इन डिटेल्स आई एल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट ओवरव्यू आई हैव ऑलरेडी कवर्ड इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो व्हाट टाइप ऑफ बिजनेस रूल वी हैव डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ बिजनेस रूल हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट what are the interview question asked which is related to business rule these all questions i have al already discussed in my previous video if you have not watched the previous video please go and watch that carefully fine now let's understand uh, before business rule was the purpose of writing a before business rule and in which scenario we will be writing a before business rule right so as i have explained in my previous video that we have a four type of business rule right and we have a four operations over here so in this uh, video i'll be discussing first business rule that is the before business rule right we have a before insert update delete and query we can perform any of these operations fine i have taken a couple of example like a clear on hold region okay so if we want to clear on hold region based on this condition let's say a state is not on hold if a state is not on hold i'm talking about the incident only so uh, if a state is not on hold and on hold region is not empty right so uh, let me open an incident right so let's say uh, on hold right and on hold region is not empty this is the condition which we are making over here right if it is that so then what we are doing i have already explained these all that means when to apply or how to apply and how this get will apply right i'm not going to explain in details over here so just we have put the condition before insert or update if this condition met then perform the action on hold region to none correct over here see here on hold region is not empty so what i have done on hold region is not empty so it's not empty so if it is on hold if i will save this one then what it will does let's say just make a comment test fine so what it is doing on hold a region to none it is setting the value right hope you got it if a state is not on hold okay if a state is not on hold sorry so uh, if a state is not i was talking about is on hold as, as if a state is not on hold so let's say uh where it is this one this is let's say new then what it will does it will clear the on hold region right if we will not clear then in back end in the list view it will show as a on hold only correct on hold region let me bring here it is empty i was talking about which incident ending with 9005 9005 you can see here on hold region is empty if we uh, because of this right let's say i'm just going to deactivate this one and what we will do we will again say on hold and we'll select the caller information over here and i will save the record i'm just giving a any comment right now if you will refresh uh, sorry this one then on hold region will come a waiting caller right now we have uh, make it inactive so this business rule will not work so if i will change it now okay now that on hold region is uh as you can see here not visible right ua policy is working right now so and uh, in this condition what it will happen 
this will go or not tell me this won't go because we are not clearing the value which is wrong we are not putting a data integrity right we have to make sure if ticket is not on hold then why a waiting caller in uh, is coming over here region it should uh, value should get clear right that is what this business rule is doing hope you got it the first scenario right now let's talk about uh, another scenario incident state change into in progress so we want to change the state to in progress when when before update i want to run this business rule before updates if someone is updating then before update this business rule should execute but with certain condition additional comment changes if someone is making changes on the additional comment and these all are in and operation and a state is on hold okay and on hold region is awaiting caller okay and caller is dynamic me okay so these all four condition has to meet so let me do it so caller is let me select my name over here okay so uh runjay i have selected now what was the second condition uh, additional comment changes yeah we will write something a state is on hold let me put a state is on hold and uh, on hold region is awaiting caller info right awaiting caller and caller is dynamically me means like a caller i have already made it as a me and then i am just putting a additional comment fine then what it will does based on this business rule what the action we are performing we are just putting a incident state change to in progress although we are uh, having a state is on hold but this condition uh, we are making it right because caller uh, sorry yeah caller uh, itself uh, it is me who is updating the ticket then incident should be in in progress right okay data policy the following field okay so some data policy you i hope you remember if you have watched my data policy video then uh, one uh, data policy is written so let me data policy was saying that assignment group and assigned to should be uh, not empty right so uh, again i have to make uh, this changes state is on hold awaiting caller and then let me select the name from this so that it will not give a data policy error and uh, here i'll be writing a test right so again we are meeting the um, um condition for this right so let, let's save this and we'll see what will happen so now you can see here we have saved it a state as on hold and the uh, region was awaiting caller right but uh, we have written a rule we have written a rule uh, stating that if this condition met if this condition met then please make uh, a state to in progress we are just setting it we are not we have not written anything over here but we are just setting it uh, in the action this for this we have not written code as of now hope you got it right how we will apply a before business tool let's talk about the third option uh, third scenario not option like when uh, a, a bot action basically so what uh, we are telling uh, we have to abort the action and we have to not allow to insert or update the record if assign to is not empty assignment group changes and assignment group is not empty so basically assign to and assignment group should be not empty and assignment group will get changed basically if changes then what if we are doing then we are not doing anything over here but in this we have written a script 
okay how the script is written let me explain you one by one over here the first thing uh, that we are getting uh, we have created one variable called assign to okay using this current dot assign to we are getting it it means in this assign to which value we will be getting this one fine now uh, in the second similar way for assignment group we have done the current dot assignment group so we will be getting the uh, current uh, assignment group that is the cab approval fine till here there is no uh, issue right now then we are doing a glide record means we are doing a glide query over here glide record on the sys user uh, um, group member table basically and then we are checking a group basically this is the reference field so it will give a sys id so uh, we have written a group dot sys id then it will check and user is this so if we will get from uh, this uh, let, let me show you basically what we are checking we are checking whether uh, the user which is selected in the assign to is part of this group or not so to check that we have applied a rule that if assignment group is this and assigned to is uh, this person selected person then we will get a result right okay so we have to get the data basically not definition so here uh, let's apply the, how this rule will apply basically glide record uh, on the this table so we are on this table and this is the two condition uh, assignment group and uh, assign to then uh, here just apply uh, here what is the group name so here we will say group and we will take a group from here so let's say cab approval group sorry cab and assign to user in this case user user is which one this one right so fine if you will run this it will give the result correct because we have found one it means that this user is part of this uh, cab approval group if someone is trying to update let's say if someone is trying to update like this let's say i have not done this way okay i have removed this one and then i have selected any user and then we have given a cab approval another rule is also running at the client side itself that uh, if group is changes then we have to remove the assignment group right uh, basically assign to person from here and we will ask them to select the uh, assign to person but if someone is trying to update it from the list view a different assign to then this uh, rule will get executed and it will uh, stop it or it will basically prevent it so how it will prevent it let's say um, uh, for using this query we have not got the result let's say assign to person is uh, different person which doesn't belongs to this uh, assignment group in that case this condition will satisfied right then what we are doing we are just doing a adding a error message which will come on the form and we are saying assign to user must be member of assignment group right and here we are saying this one so this is the assign to get display name will come and the assign to get display name so basically in this is the uh, placeholder basically so in zeroth position this value will come and oneth position first position this value will come so this is the dynamic uh, we can uh, put it over here okay now after displaying this message we have to abort the action if we are not aborting the action what it will does it will update it which is wrong right a page if you are not part of the group then you should not come into assign to person over here correct so same thing we are preventing while writing a, a script over here and then we are saying this is the uh, script way 
we have an option over here also but uh, this condition um, is a complex condition so we are checking it that's why we are writing a code and then we are aborting the action so how you will abort it current dot set abort action and pass the true it will prevent for insert and update basically it will prevent the operation which you are trying to perform hope you got it uh, before a business rule how it will help and for documentation you just uh, go to here and uh, type uh, before business rule then you will get uh, details like how before business rule work right so before executing all this i have written i have written the scenario also with the code you will get it over here right thank you then thanks for watching in next video we will see after uh, business rule in details